Ngayon ay magsasagot naman tayo ng parabola na kung saan, given yung general equation, at kailangan natin siya i-convert into its standard form. Yung problem number one, alam natin na ito ay parabola kasi iisa lang yung variable na may exponent na 2. So ito ay parabola at kailangan natin siyang i-change into its standard form para malaman natin kung paano siya mag open So yung una natin gagawin is um, i-group yung mga y at saka yung mga x together at gamitan siya ng completing the square technique. So kailangan alam nyo kung paano gumamit ng uh, completing the square para makapag-solve tayo ng problems tulad nito. So, yung ating y squared plus 6y will be on this side. Tapos, mag a tayo ng 4x minus 33 para meron lang tayong y squared doon sa isang equation. So, now we have y squared plus 6y equals 4x minus 33. So, ngayon ay pwede na tayo mag-complete ng square dito sa ating set of quadratics sa um, left side ng equation. So, we'll have y squared plus 6y plus a box equals 4x minus 33 plus another box. Now, ang kailangan natin gawin ay mag-create ng perfect square trinomial para sa ating quadratic at to do that kailangan niyo lang kunin yung kalahati ng middle term so half of 6 is 3 at you square it so 3 times 3 is 9 so half of 6 and then squaring it and we'll have 9 as our constant to complete the square so if you add 9 here mag-add ka rin ng 9 this side kaya meron ako dalawang box para hindi ko malimutan na kailangan ko siyang um, mag-add ng 9 in both sides. So since now, this is a perfect square trinomial, kapag pinactor out natin si 9, we'll have y plus 3 squared. Kasi y plus 3 squared will give you y squared plus 6y plus 9 equal to 4x minus negative 33 plus 9 is negative 24. So ngayon, meron na tayong um, parabola, pero mas simplify pa natin to by factoring 4 dun sa 4x minus 24. So we'll have y plus 3 squared equals 4 times x minus 6. At ito na ngayon ang ating standard form. At sa standard form natin, malalaman natin na yung parabola To the right. Kasi yung square natin is with y at yung p natin ay positive. So yung vertex natin will be at 6 and negative 3. So yan yung mga information na pwede natin ma-generate kapag na-convert na natin yung conic section natin into its standard form. Now, sagutan naman natin yung pangalawa natin conic section. Sa pangalawang conic section, mapapansin nyo na dalawa ngayon yung ating exponent of 2. So, ibig sabihin, yung number 2 could either be an ellipse, a circle, or a hyperbola. So, let's go ahead and group the x's together, group the y together, and then yung 9, or yung constant, will be transferred on the other side of the equation. So, we'll have x squared plus 4y squared plus 6x minus 8y plus 9 equals 0. So in this step, we're going to group the x's plus yung mga y and we will subtract 9 on both sides. So we'll have negative 9 on the other side. Now, yung unang grupo, pwede na natin siyang um, i-complete yung square by finding the perfect square trinomial pero yung second group which is yung y hindi pa natin siya pwedeng galawin or gamitan ng completing the square kasi yung leading coefficient niya ay 4 so kailangan nating um, 
i-factor out si 4 para makapag-complete tayo ng square. So, yung una nating group will stay the same. Yung pangalawa nating group will have 4 outside. And 4 divided, or 8 divided by 4 will be 2 equals 9. Kasi sa pag-complete ng square, kailangan yung leading term natin or leading coefficient natin ay lagging 1. So, to complete the square, meron na tayo ngayong x squared plus 6x plus the box plus 4 times y squared minus 2y plus another box equals negative 9. Now, yung box natin dito, kailangan mag-add din tayo ng box dito sa other side of the equation. At since nag-add tayo ng box dito at nag-take out tayo ng 4 dun sa quadratic equation, mag-add tayo ngayon ng 4 multiplied by the number in the box. Now, to complete the square, yung ating first group, ang constant niya would be half of 6, which is 3, and 3 times 3 is 9. So, you add 9 here and you add 9 on the other side. And on the other group, half of negative 2 is negative 1. Negative 1 squared is 1. So ngayon, meron tayong x plus 3 squared at y minus 1 squared equals negative 9 plus 9 is 0. So we have 4. So, ang, un ang gagawin na lang natin is divide yung ating equation by 4 kasi kailangan siyang equal to 1. So, by dividing all of them by 4, we'll have x plus 3 squared all over 4 plus y minus 1 squared all over 1 equals 1. So, ito ngayon yung ating standard form. At alam natin na ito ay ellipse na may center at negative 3 and positive 1. So ito ngayon yung ating paggamit ng completing the square method sa pagsagot ng um, conic section tulad na ito.